and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am here with a very, very special guest and it's Alex from Ukraine. He's going to represent Ukraine this year at Junior Eurovision. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine, what about you? <laughs> Me too, thank you. Okay, so first of all, I think it would be nice uh, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. What are you doing? in these days? Uh, so uh, my name is Alexander. I'm 14 years old. I live in Kiev. And uh, as uh, you already say, I will, I will represent Ukraine at Junior Eurovision this year. <laughs> yeah, so how is the whole situation in, in your country right now? Are there many restrictions or is life going on just as usual? Uh, actually, the, there are not because uh, people are tired sitting at home although it's uh, not so safe. Like last year, uh, there were like a thousand cases per day and uh, everyone was scared and sitting at home. Uh -huh. uh, well, now we have like about 10,000 cases uh, like every day and uh, everyone's like feeling okay. Uh, everyone's not, feel, uh, not wearing masks outside, so people are not scared. Uh, yeah. But uh, schools are getting closed, like universities and all, all this stuff. It's like starting to restrict. Okay, yeah, same here in Germany. So, um, what about your musical career? How did you get into music, first of all? So, uh, I started uh, quite long ago. Uh, so, uh, when I was four years old, uh, I started to uh, perform in uh, folk core, folk choir. I don't know. It's, this word, this word is hard to spell in English. Okay. Choir. Uh, so, um, yeah. and then uh, when I moved to Kiev, when I was uh, eight years old, uh, I started to uh, study pop vocals. So. Nice. So, and, how, uh, how long have you been studying? It's hard to say, but I guess like oh, ten years. Wow, that's nice. Do you play any other instruments? Uh, I do. Uh, I play guitar and uh, piano a little bit. I just medium level nice um do you have any other hobbies besides making music uh, so i guess my second biggest hobby is uh board games i have them a lot like here uh i have a big shelf of them and they're just standing here and uh i sometimes play play them with my friends play with my family and i like it nice do you want to continue being a singer in the future or do you have any other dream job that you would like to do? Uh, so in the future, uh, I guess uh, I will continue doing my, my thing. Like I will uh, continue making music and uh, that's it. Yeah, that's nice. So uh, this isn't your first attempt to represent Ukraine at Junior Eurovision, am I right? Yeah, you are. Uh, so, two years before, so that was my third Eurovision selection and also the last one because I'm 14 years old. Uh, so, uh, yeah, lucky last time and before, you got selected. Yeah, two times before <laughs> I uh, made it to a uh, final, national selections finals, and this year uh, I won it. And you also represented Ukraine at other music competitions, didn't you? Yeah, so uh, I went actually to lots of like competitions and festivals. Uh, like thanks to music, I've been like to uh, all the world's continents uh, except mm -hmm. uh, Antarctica. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. it could be quite hard to perform there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we know, Junior Eurovision this year isn't in Poland. You will be singing from a studio in Kiev. I think. Um, what would you have expected from Junior Eurovision if it would have been in Poland? Uh, so uh, actually I'm like quite sad because uh, uh, if we don't have this uh, a live Eurovision live concert so uh, I, w I won't be able to perform to a uh, huge audience of people like 10,000 people audience and uh, also uh, I won't be able to uh, like communicate with other people, with like uh, participants and fans and everyone here. It's quite sad. Yeah, 
I understand. So what else do you expect from how it's going to be now? Do you have some expectations? So uh, I guess it's uh, it will be better now because uh, we are able to uh, make a better performance. So now we started working on a performance. Uh, we launched a music video some days ago and now we started working yeah. on it. Uh, on the performance, so um, I guess it's gonna be cool and you will be able to see it <laughs> in some months. Do you have any hints how the performance will look like? Are you allowed to tell something? <laughs> <laughs> um, I won't tell you anything by now. <laughs> oh, so we are gonna be excited. <laughs> yeah. Do you did you already um, text or speak to any other contestants from this year? Yeah, so I had a live streams on my Instagram. Uh, so I had a streams with uh, Susan from Germany. Um, she's my old friend. I know her like for a lot of time. Oh, really? And uh, also, yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, uh, I spoke to uh, Peter from Serbia, uh, also on my live. So. Nice. For um, now, so, I'm but I plan to uh, to make like m more of that. Nice. Looking forward. So uh, you wrote the song yourself, but not completely alone. Who wrote that song with you again? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. So uh, on on the song, we worked with uh, Adam Mikhailo Klimenko, uh, sound producer, who worked with uh, Darina Krasnovetska. Do you remember her from 2018? Junior. No. <laughs> started um, following Junior Eurovision this year because Germany is taking part for the first time. So I oh, didn't follow okay. Junior Eurovision uh, <laughs> the past years. I'm sorry. I should have, but <laughs> it's more interesting now that my country is taking okay, part. Okay, that's okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's a real good guy. Uh, he's professional. He wrote songs uh, for uh, Darina, as I said, and also Uh, some more like great artists so can you like sum up the process of writing the song what steps did you did you have so we we just sat in a studio for a couple of hours like uh, lots of days and we were just uh, uh, starting with music and then uh, like making the ri ly lyrics later and uh, it took us some time but um, I think it, it went great really It took like two months. I just say that so we were, long. Like, wow. Yeah, it, it's uh, a way from nothing to a complete like song. That's it. Is it the first song you wrote yourself, or do you have other songs you wrote before? Uh, actually, uh, I had some songs before, but I didn't participate in them this much. Like, uh, I like I help with arrangement and music. I just coordinated the people, like uh, what I wanted to be. Uh, but now I just uh, started with some music lyrics and all this. Nice. So, can you sum up a bit what the song is about for all the people who don't speak Ukrainian? Uh, so uh, the song uh, it's open up like it's about that you should uh, be honest you should uh, open yourself to uh, this world and uh, th this world will open to you also like uh, you should be just uh, hard working for it also I guess nice that's it. yeah could have been the title song for Eurovision 2020 open up Yeah, I, could, <laughs> I see the poster over here on your wall. <laughs> yes, here it is. I, the EBU sent it to me for free because I participated in a, a music contest and they sent uh, some stuff to everyone who participated. Oh, nice. So, um, next thing I want to talk about is the music video. The first time I watched it, I was quite confused because of the ending. <laughs> <laughs> What Everyone is it about? remembers it. <laughs> <laughs> What is it about? Why this ending? Uh, so uh, I guess that was our main idea to make people watch it again. Uh, so uh, I guess for me, uh, it's like my own opinion about it. Uh, but for everyone else, uh, also the second thing that we uh, thought about while creating it is just uh, that everyone should uh, describe it like by by himself 
Like you should uh, just uh, just uh, think the absent part by yourself. Like you should <laughs> finish ah, okay. the story, I guess. Okay. So what 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 was um, recording the video like? Was it your first music video you recorded? Uh, it was my first professional music video. So before we recorded them like by ourselves, like uh, our family and maybe some people more. Uh, and they, they weren't so professional. So on this shooting, we had like a huge team with uh, lots of people doing their jobs and uh, a big team that are shooting like other uh, other videos besides uh, this music video that was mm. made here. So it was really professional and it was really fun. And completely new experience for you. Yeah. Yeah. So let's move on. What is your favorite act this year? So I guess um, everyone is quite good. Yeah, They're, that's true. They have really Definitely. good songs, and uh, I really can judge them for myself because uh, I'm here also. So uh, for me, like uh, I can like. Uh, get out the favorites, but because uh, everyone is cool, really. Okay, but if you if you could steal the song from another participant, what song would it be? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't steal. It's, it's a provocation question. Okay, uh, but um, do you have any dream collaboration singers you would like to collab with in the future? Singers at all, like at all, yeah. It's hard actually because uh, I have uh, some like musicians that I really like, uh, but one of them is Michael Jackson, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also uh, now I listen a lot to a jungle, a British band. Uh, it's like a neo soul band. Do you know them? No. No, you don't. Listen to. Uh, so, I will, I will. Uh, um, so you said Michael Jackson. Yeah. Can you try to sing your song in the style of Michael Jackson? How would Michael Jackson mm. sing it? I know it's difficult. I don't know. It's hard. Let me think for a bit. Yeah, uh, no problem. Mm. When you're giving something, who's asking for? Well, you should keep on going forward to change this world. How are they right to survive any sorrow? You have to be full of, you have to be full of love. Great, great. Nice impression. Yeah, yeah. but I, I like songs of Michael Jackson. They're so funky and yeah. uh, his uh, singing is like uh, short and uh, staccato and this uh, his uh, like great vocals. Yeah, I true. Really love that. true. Before we're going to end this video, do you have one message for the Junior Eurovision fans who are watching Junior Eurovision? Uh, so, uh, hello everyone, uh, I'm wishing you health, of course, and everything well. So watch the Junior Eurovision on 29th November and uh, vote for your best. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this video. Thank you, Alex, for doing the interview with me. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell, follow me and Alex on Instagram. I will put the links in the description. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye.